guys it's been a while since i've made a video but um yeah i'm back and i got plenty of knives that i wanted to go over but today i wanted to focus specifically on a certain brand known as tucson knives if you know about them then you're in the know but if you don't stick around because i got 11 knives i wanted to show do a little overview and then talk about them as a company and just why I like them so much and why I've pretty much become a Tucson junkie in the last six months. But uh, yeah, I'll start in order of how I got them and again, just a little bit of reasoning behind it and talk about the company overall. But the first one that I bought was the TS-22 Pathfinder designed by Night Morning Design. This is a really cool... Uh, Titanium frame lock flipper. It's got that rough carbon fiber inlay, the blue anodized gear backspacer kind of style with the uh, built in lanyard hole. And then you have your titanium milled clip, got these speed holes, a skeletonized flipper tab. So this is a pretty nice flipper here. Comes in D2 steel. And, uh, yeah, the handle on this one's got that nice two-tone satin flats. The radius has got this, like, nice sandblast finish to it. Um, this, one, this being one of their earlier knives is a little more rougher around the edges as far as design and the quality goes compared to their newer ones. And you'll see the progression. Um, but even then, this one's a really nice one. I like this piece. It's, a uh, I mean, it's a good knife overall, and it's got some really, really nice ergonomics. This thing just feels so good in the hand. But, um, yeah, no jimping for the thumb. You do have a little bit on the flipper tab here, which helps. The D10 on this one is kind of a lighter one, but it flips really good still. It's got a really, really smooth action. This thing just drops. Um... The thing about this one though is it does have a late detent so it this is here in the normal open position and it doesn't hit that detent till here so that is pretty late and it doesn't clear it till here so by then you know your finger your thumb's going to be in the way of the flipper tab you're going to have to kind of lean back a little bit more on this one to disengage it and then you can get caught up on the uh, detent ramp, but for the most part, you pass it and closes really nicely. So not too bad on this one, but yeah, you can get a little hung up on the detent there. But great knife overall, good design. That's the uh, TS-22 Pathfinder. So the next one I got, and I got this one, I'll also talk about uh how much i paid for them so i bought this one on ebay for auction for 92 dollars uh not too bad since i was seeing another one in worse condition for 150 and this one is discontinued harder to find so that is the reason why i bought that one first and the next one that i decided to get once i was you know more interested in tucson was the ts 208 also designed by Night Morning. This is one of their budget offerings, but it's a really good budget knife. I paid $43 for this one. And what you're getting on this one is a liner lock flipper, a hidden flipper too, which is really sweet. It's got these shadow box stone washed, or they're like a black washed uh, finish. So they are shadow box proud. And you have this really nice green linen micarta, which for Tucson is quite surprising how nice this micarta is. And I'll kind of discuss that a little bit more later. Uh, hardware, always great from Tucson, T8s all around. And then the uh, folded over deep carry 420 stainless steel pocket clip that they typically use on uh, all of their budget knives. And then 
with that hidden flipper being there, it also acts as a uh, hidden forward finger twirl. So definitely works out really nicely. And the ergonomics on this one are just fantastic. Again, just this thing feels great in the hand. And I absolutely love that, like Bowie style clip point. It's a very nice clip point blade. Um, but yeah, this one is a, a little heavy coming in at 5.64 ounces, but really solid build construction. Those nice liners, you know, really solid. Internal relief cut, just great. Uh, deep carry clip, like I mentioned. I do wish they would use flush screws. Hidden lanyard, G10 backspacer. You know, it's got the works. And then again, just stupid smooth. On this one, uh, that flipper tab, you can wait for it to hit your finger if you're in the right spot. It'll pass the detent, and then you can go the rest of the way. This one doesn't have a detent ramp, but it does have a pseudo detent ramp, or at least what I call it, where it's got a chamfer. So as the detent ball is, you know, crossing that plane of the tang, it hits that uh, chamfer and it's able to clear it easier. And that's what I call a, a pseudo ramp, a pseudo detent ramp. Some of, uh, their models will have ramps, some won't. Just depends, can vary even on the premium ones. It just depends on uh, what they wanted to do and I guess the maker. But I've seen this uh, pseudo ramp chamfer on uh, some other knives from other brands. So I like when I see that. If you're not gonna put a detent ramp, at least do that. Uh, small little flipper tab. But works really good. Really nice detent on this one. Um, again, passes the detent easily, but this one does have a uh, very early detent. It's just you kind of have to let it uh, pass it unless you want it to hit your thumb there and then uh, just swing it all the way home. But there's that one, the TS-208. Next is this bad boy, the TS-229 Megalodon, designed by Jelly Jerry. I paid $119 for this one. And uh, just to let you know, I didn't spend over $119, or I guess $120, for any of the knives that I have. This was my most expensive one. And uh, yeah, just exceptionally well made but uh, still affordable. You get this aggressively stylish kind of uh, bolster frame lock, front flipper, deep fuller grooves. It's uh, perfect for a reverse flick. Titanium milled handle, just beautiful carbon fiber, no voids. I mean, there's better carbon fiber out there, but this is some good stuff for, you know, just a, a normal production knife. Tucson has great carbon fiber. Never had a problem with it. Always clean and voidless, like I said. Um, and then, yeah, that carbon fiber acts as the bolster, or the, well, the bolster lock over travel stop as well. It's got these uh, titanium pivot collars and uh, very nice clip, skeletonized, hidden screw construction. This clip works great, really like it. This one comes in uh, M390, let's see if I can focus that, probably not, but yeah, M390. They do make this in 14C 2.8N, so if you do want this in a slightly cheaper variation, they have that, which is great. Gear style, tread like backspacer, thick external stop pins, which is something that Tucson does that I really like, these thick stop pins, that's great. 
but excellent construction, milling, just everything is just done so well. This is a, a really nice piece by Jelly Jerry. Perfectly centered. And on the flipper on this one is just very well done. I'm not a fan of this chunky, thick jimping, but it does work. And the way this geometry is works really well. The detent on this is uh, just perfect. Just done well for the front flipper. This thing comes out very nicely, very easily. Excellent action. Absolutely love this knife. I wasn't sure about this bump as far as ergonomics would go when I first got it, but man, this thing fits just so nice in the hand. Locks up. Everything is where it should be. Very nice. And yeah, just stupid smooth. Not right handed, so. Bear with me. <laughs> but yeah, excellent. Great action. Absolutely love this knife. I just wish they would have done an internal relief cut since they did do the carbon fiber on both sides to keep it symmetrical, it would have looked a lot nicer. But either way, great knife. And I do like the fact that you can roll this one out. On a lot of front flippers, you can't. But since they have that cut out there, it makes it very easy to just roll out. I do uh, think this was kind of a missed opportunity to put a hidden front, uh, flipper into a flipper front flipper combo. They, uh, Jelly Jerry should have redesigned this front area instead of putting this finger forward choil here. He should have incorporated it into the design. That way he could have put a hidden flipper style and then, you know, could have had your front and your regular. But here's the uh, reverse flick. Works excellently. The detent's perfectly tuned for both. It clears the detent easily past it. You can thumb flick it, but you have to kind of get it at a really weird angle. And yeah, you just don't really want to do that. You can end up flinging the knife right out of your hand. Um, but yeah, here's the uh, detent angle on this one. Pretty normal, like early to normal. Here, it's cleared by here. So yeah, once you disengage it, it'll come swinging down. Got to watch the guillotine on this one and then just send it home. But uh, there's that. The next knife that I got from Tucson is uh, another Jelly Jerry design. At this point, I am uh, just completely happy with my Tucson purchases. You know, having these three, I was really liking them and very interested in what Jelly Jerry has. So I wanted another one from him. And uh, I didn't mention that I got these two from White Mountain Knives. And a lot of the two sons that I have, that's where I get them from. So the next one that I got came up on White Mountain Knives. And that's what I ended up getting. And that is the uh, TS217 Noble. I paid $83 for this one. And this is a minimalistic, slim-looking but a smart, kind of boxy, uh, but unique reverse bolster lock style front flipper knife, with the frame lock construction. It's got these carbon fiber bolsters, titanium, you know, frame, titanium backspacer, and just simple titanium milled clip. The uh, lock bar's got an internal relief cut, which is great. I like that they did that to keep that nice symmetrical clean look on both sides, which is what I wish, like I had mentioned, that Jelly would have done with the, the Megalodon, the TS-229, but did it on this one and did it well. Front flipper works really good. Um, yeah, it's also got that uh, hole here for a reverse flick, but... 
your mileage may vary. Some people can do it, some can't. Um, I can do it, but yeah, just depends on how big your hands are and your fingers and if you can get into that hole there. But good reverse flick action if you can do it. If I can do it, Jesus, sorry. I'm working around the camera and it's a little awkward trying to stare at the, uh, the camera and work around it and actuate the knife all at the same time. But uh, yeah, really cool construction that they put a tab in here that locks into the frame as a secondary contact point other than the pivot. Nice dome-shaped pivot. Pivot collar is titanium as well, I believe. But yeah, just nice, uh, very nice construction. Simple, elegant, looks good. Perfectly centered. Excellent lockup. Like I said, front flipper works great. This is just a really nice design overall. It's clean, looks good. And uh, yeah, I just really like this one. The uh, detent is uh, at a normal clearance, clears it. It's got a detent ramp as well. And uh, yeah, just a really nice action. So after that, I wanted to try out a different designer. And uh, I was hoping to get something from Wong or Mazwan, but nothing that was available yet. So I ended up picking this one, the TS-298. This is a Rihi design. It's a very cool one though. I really like this piece. This is a, um, oh, I forgot to mention the steel on this one. This one's in uh, 14C28N. And that also goes for the TS-298 here. This one's in 14C as well, which Tucson does a really good job on. And this one's just ridiculously smooth. So yeah, what you're getting here is a reserved but well-milled uh, Rihi design. For his designs for Tucson, they can be uh, quite exuberant as far as the milling goes. So when I say this one's reserved, yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, really nice. Got some nice angles and lines on this one. Absolutely love that reverse Tonto blade. Looks really good. It's an effective cutting tool. It's got a nice thinness behind the edge, even though this one's kind of got like a top heavy blade, but that definitely helps it with the action. Um, also this contour, which is great. Titanium backspacer, titanium mill clip. And on this one, the uh, detent is kind of late. It doesn't clear it till here, so that is pretty far. But because of the way this flipper tab is and the way this blade angles up, by the time it hits your finger, it's already way past it. And you just got to take it home. And like I said, this one's got an excellent action. Very smooth. It's got really light lock bar tension. So that kind of helps with the action. But it does uh, make the detent a little bit lighter. It's not quite as uh, stiff as my other ones here. But even then, I mean, it's still got a, a relatively normal detent, light normal, but very hard to fail it either way. And just stupid smooth. Awesome design. Really like this one. It's got that lar large lanyard slit, but um, yeah, it doesn't really like get in the way of the design or anything. So I'm going to go over one more knife and then I'll probably end it here and then do the rest for part two. I'm thinking this will probably end up being a three part series since I do have a lot to say and I tend to talk a lot. So if you're uh, still with me, thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll go over the last knife here. And this one is a good one. So on this one, 
I was just looking to get another Tucson, and this one popped up, and as soon as I saw it, I bought it. It's the TS-224 Viper, designed by Jelly Jerry. This thing is freaking awesome. This knife is just amazing. This is it's just brilliantly aggressive, sleek, but it's still relatively minimalistic. But I mean, just very well done. Beautiful titanium, carbon fiber, that clip point buoy blade, just ridiculously gorgeous. Brings this whole knife together. The uh, milling, just beautiful. All of the external milling, the external relief milling for the carbon fiber inlay, just all very well done. This is an absolutely beautiful knife. I kind of tightened the pivot on this one a little, so yeah, and I was pushing on the lock bar. But still really smooth. This one doesn't have a detent ramp. It's just got that pseudo ramp, so despite it being really smooth, a detent ramp would have helped it. And uh, let me see if you can see that detent ramp ensemble. My camera's not the best, but it's right here on top of the lock face. You can see that little dip on this one, whereas like this one is just completely straight. But anyways, just an amazing knife. Um, the uh, transition between the carbon fiber and the titanium is seamless. And then the fact that it's contoured just makes that perfect as far as the fit and finish goes. Action is great. And then it's got this little like dip here, which gives it a little kind of, uh, how would you put it? It's a little scooped area for your finger to get in there and really get purchase. So flip this knife out. But, uh, yeah, just really well done. Again, great action. Absolutely love this knife. I do think, again, missed opportunity for a hidden flipper tab, but, and then they could have done this one with the Ford front flipper. A really cool knife. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but yeah, back to the knife. Just uh, really well done. And uh, this one's an M390, and I paid, uh, how much was this one? This one was like 117 I believe. But uh, great knife. So those are the six that I'll showcase for the first video. Um, again, this is going to end up being a three-part series, actually, and on the next video, I will have five more to show, all great knives, so please stick around. Thank you if you have, so please like and review, and yeah, be on the lookout for the next one. So I'll see you soon.